<laughs> All right. So this next one, again, an Eastern dish. Um, it's almond mustard. Um, it's super simple. It's got a kick to it. It's great on breads. It's great on meats and whatnot. Um, so you take a half or a full cup of almonds and you want them slivered. You're gonna take a third of a cup of ground mustard, a fourth of a cup of mustard seed, and a half a cup of, it, the recipe calls for vinegar. I have found that the best vinegar to use is apple cider vinegar. And we're just gonna mix that up. It's not gonna look much like mustard at this point. It's gonna look a little soupy and a little gross. But, you know, back in the day, we would have put it in a mortar and pestle and we'd have ground it up, but we've got technology. So we're gonna throw this through the food processor and then we'll show you how it looks. Yay, okay. okay. Get all of that in there. <laughs> I'll take the camera. You do, you work the food processor. Because <laughs> yay technology, but I don't know how to work it. <laughs> okay, just put it on, slide it in place, and hit it. So once it comes out of the food processor, it's going to look like this. Um, like I said, it's delicious on breads. It's delicious on meats. Be aware, though, that it does have a kick to it. Yes, it does. <laughs> um... But it's a super simple recipe. You can pick everything up at the grocery store. Um, again, uh, it is it is a historical recipe. It's actually been documented from one of the feasts um, in the Eastern lands. Um, so yeah, yeah, it comes out uh, kind of similar to a stone ground mustard with a little bit of a drier consistency. But that's okay because it'll hold really well when you go to spread it on top of crackers or bread or anything like that. You don't have to worry about it dripping on your garb. And it tastes phenomenal. And um, if you refrigerate it overnight, it will lose a little bit of its kick, but not much. Alright guys, so that is your almond mustard. Done and ready to set out on the table. Okay guys, so that was our segment on dips. We hope we hope you found it useful. Um, hope you found something you could use. Oh, definitely. Uh, try these. They are very easy, quick to make. Um, just a little bit of patience with letting the leeks cook and letting the palm goo get to where it needs to be. But I guarantee you it is worth the wait. All right. So we will be back with more installments on uh, cooking for you know, Penzik at home <laughs> and period dishes. Thanks guys. Love Later. you.